A local preschool is on the brink of being shut down for what the owner is calling misleading claims. And now hundreds of parents are worried about what the future holds if the center closes. Our Jillian McCarthy is live near Razzmatazz Child Care Center, the preschool at the center of this controversy. Jillian. Krista, when you walk inside this preschool, you could tell it's a happy and nurturing place. But a couple of former teachers who were fired for mishandling the children have caused the state to take action. Behind closed doors, it's a battle between the preschool's owner and the state office of early childhood. I feel that they're picking at me for many reasons and trying to close me. My husband is black. We both have tattoos and piercings and my staff is very multicultural. Ashley Clark says she doesn't fit the typical picture of what a preschool owner should look like, but that doesn't interfere with the love she has for the children. We love these kids. It's their second home. Most of these kids are with us 40 to 50 hours a week. When we load up in the morning, my two year old says we're going home. And I'm like, no, we're going to daycare. And so this this is their home away from home. Cassidy Lawson has two kids at Razzmatazz. The CNA nurse says she's at risk of losing her job without the daycare. If Razzmatazz gets closed down, I'll be out of work. Cassidy is one of 100 parents who signed a petition to keep the school open. It's been devastating. I've been dealing with crying parents, crying kids. I've been crying. Ashley opened Razzmatazz in January of 2019. She was put on probation back in March 2020 for overcapacity limits. After that, the center received monthly inspections from licensing officials. But Ashley says the state has been writing her up for what she's calling misleading claims. I've never allowed a staff member here intoxicated or under a controlled substance. They've put that on there. Some of their violations I've had doctor's notes for, I've obtained doctor's notes for them. They still wrote me up for that. But she says the biggest reason she's at risk for getting shut down was after two incidents where teachers handle children inappropriately. Ashley immediately fired those teachers, but she says they never suffered any consequences. It's very disturbing. It's actually very sad what they allow. I've called it in and I reported it. Those two teachers are still working at facilities somewhere here in Mesa County with no repercussions to them. Um, they weren't charged with anything. They were not founded for anything. I fired them immediately. Kristen Bates, a Razzmatazz teacher who has worked for several other daycares in the Grand Valley, says she's witnessed these situations happen frequently at other centers, but she's upset that Razzmatazz is taking the heat. There's been incidences like there always is in child care centers and they were not shut down. I'm kind of concerned why this school is being shut down for the same reasons it happens in many other schools every day. We reached out to the Colorado Office of Early Childhood for comment and officials responded, quote, the Colorado Department of Human Services Child Care Licensing denied the renewal of Razzmatazz Early Learning's license on December 23, 2020, due to repeated licensing violations and a repeated failure to adhere to the standards of their probationary license. Now, Ashley's next step is to file an appeal to keep her center open. Otherwise, the preschool will be shut down on January 15th. We'll keep you updated on this developing story. Reporting live at Razzmatazz, I'm Jillian McCarthy, Fox 4 News. Back to you, Krista. Thank you, Jillian.